shop. What's up, y'all? We're here at Pay Dues Independent Hip Hop Festival with uh, another great independent artist over here, uh, D1 out of New Orleans. D, how are you uh, enjoying the San Bernardino uh, atmosphere? So far, all is well. I just hopped off stage to a wonderful reception. You know, people came over and mobbed me, man. They wanted to get the CDs. I mean, that felt great. And I mean, I'm just enjoying it, man. I didn't have any expectations coming in. I just wanted to come in and enjoy it for what it was, because I'd never been here before. So it's all good, man. Like, all smiles over here. Yeah, I saw that mob when you got off stage. I was like, that must be D right there. <laughs> uh, what, okay, what did you think? Let's be honest here, let's be real about it. What do you think about the cage on the stage? Yeah, it's different, you know? <laughs> it, it's different, man, I promise you, like, it it messes with you at first because you feel restrained. Yeah. You feel like, wow, and, you know, I'm not good at being caged in, you know? I don't, I I don't like to be boxed <laughs> in as an artist, so I actually tried to jump up over it one time. Yo, yo, You know, I, I felt a little freedom. I got on top of it, and I looked down, and I was like, nah, that's kind of fun, man. So I, <laughs> I didn't want to fall. So it, it's, it's cool, though. Like, I'm all about some different stuff. So I, I just tried to use the cage to my advantage. You know, I slapped it a couple of times. I kicked it. I did what I had to do to just have fun. <laughs> so we caught up with you at South by Southwest. We know uh, you got some cool things in the works. Do you have any updates for us on yeah, any of that yeah. stuff? The tour that I'm on just started yesterday, the Grind and Hustle Tour. We started in Vancouver, Canada. Wow. And we're hitting 24 cities in 30 days. I'm missing the show tonight, obviously, to do paid dues. But I'll be catching up with them tomorrow uh, in Seattle, Washington. And we'll be, you know, we'll be hitting cities all over the U.S. You can go to d1music.com and check the whole tour schedule out. Other than that, I'm still pushing the, the new album that I put out. Uh, I hope they hear me, Volume 2. And... You know it's all good. We got the It's My Turn video that I just dropped for that single. It made it to MTV Jams. So it's getting some good spins on MTV. And right now I'm just looking to collaborate with some of these talented artists who are here, man. It's, it's too much talent for me to look at all these names on the wall and not have any songs with these guys. Yeah. I got one with Murs. Now I got about 40 artists left to go, you know what I'm saying? For real. So are you on tour with anybody that we might want to know about? Yeah, man, I'm on tour with uh, Killer Mike, Young Dro, and Pac Div out of LA, so it's cool, man. You got Atlanta, you got LA, and you got New Orleans, all on the same tour, all on the same bus, and it's cool, man. I'm meeting all these guys for the first time, and it's all love. It's just people that are hungry and ready to grind and ready to hustle. Yeah. So is that like you being a school teacher yourself, what's it like touring with a guy like Killer Mike, who who's a, a college graduate, a very educated man? Is that, oh, oh, that's all right. That doesn't usually happen in interviews. <laughs> uh, so what's it like being on tour with Killer Mike? You know, a, a, guy, a dude being a, as educated as you are, maybe maybe more, maybe less. Well, Killer Mike actually, uh, he's going to join the tour tomorrow. So I'm excited the fact that we're on the tour because he and I, we're the type of artists to where we have this mutual respect for, for what each other does. And every time we see each other, it's like, man, I salute you. I see you. I respect it. So now for us to be with each other for about 30 days, I would expect some cool conversation to come out of that, man. Like, really sitting back, no telling. We might come up with a plan to change the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, no telling, man. So, in the meantime, I kind of look at us like Malcolm and Martin, you know what I'm saying? Him being Malcolm, me, me being more or less like Martin. Like, we stand for the same basic principles, and we just got different approaches. But I think that's a cool thing. Yeah, man. Check your watch, you know what time it is. It's my turn. Uh, it's going down. Yo, we live in the box with legendary D1, dude. I heard you've been on the grind. Tell us something, what's been happening with you? Yes, sir. You know, I've been paying dues for a minute, man. I got the best fans in the world, I feel. And I mean, what more can I say, bro? It's my turn. And we'll be catching up with D1 sometime soon, I'm sure, man. Ahem, ahem, ahem. I hope they hear me out there. My name is D1, the one man army, and I'm with Longhorn Hip Hop at the Paid Dudes Festival 2011. Cheer, let's go. Yeah. Different slang, different cities, different hood. Same struggle though, it's already understood. And man, I'm sick of people talking about Katrina. I got a whole city ready to fight her, so have you seen her? Mr. Officer 
told me I ran a red light. That light was yellow. You crooked fellow. You saw me jello. Let's go.